Amazing work by officers this morning in a very tense, dangerous situation. So they safely arrested this man after a high speed chase and standoff ended in the Spokane River downtown. That standoff lasted for several hours. Yeah, the chase started in Airway Heights before dawn and then the uh, uh, the suspect got pulled over in a traffic stop, but then he sped away after the stop towards the downtown area. Exited the vehicle, leaving his girlfriend, the front passenger of the vehicle, who's also nine months pregnant, leaving her behind. He jumped in, uh, jumped in the Spokane River, swam across the river. So police said he then hid in some bushes. They were able to use a drone, though, to safely find him. Authorities then floated fully armed across the Spokane River to bring that man to shore. He was then put in custody and wheeled onto an ambulance and taken to Sacred Heart mm. Medical Center. And tonight we are learning a bit more about that suspect who is 35 year old Casey Gillette. So we found out he has a lengthy criminal history. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley investigated and shares why you have may, may have heard his name before. An early morning pursuit led multiple law enforcement agencies to the Spokane River. That's where they finally located the suspect, 35 year old Casey Gillette. We did a search of his name after this morning's incident and found this story. Spokane County Sheriff's deputies arrested the same Casey Gillette in early June for a burglary. They posted these photos of the stolen items. The suspects later used the stolen credit card to purchase snacks and cigarettes from a gas station, which led deputies to their location. That's how deputies arrested the 35 year old at a Maverick gas station. This morning, police said Gillette was wanted for charges in Utah. The Utah Department of Corrections confirmed Gillette was being supervised on probation for crimes, including burglary of a vehicle and failure to obey police commands. In Washington state, the Department of Corrections provided Gillette's lengthy criminal history. Charges include possession of drugs, theft of a motor vehicle and unlawful possession of a firearm. Gillette is currently in custody in the spoke Spokane County Jail and will make a court appearance for this morning's incident next week. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.